Uh, final speaker uh, this <laughs> evening in the Ellis County Commissioner Precinct 2 race, Darren Robinette. Darren? How are y'all doing this evening? Uh, my name is Darren Brodnick and I'm also running for County Commissioner for Precinct 2. And I would like to say thank you very much to the Ellis County Republican women. We've had a lot of fun, sort of paying cakes and waiting tables for New Year's and such like that together. Uh, they're a big blessing helping out with everything they do across Ellis County. And I think every one of y'all should know that if you're a lady, you really ought to go and get involved with them. Thanks to you two gentlemen for sitting here and tolerating all of us. We appreciate that very much. Uh, and I really want to say thank you to my mom and dad. They're back here. Uh, I currently work for my father, and I think he's kind of torn between the two. He's like, I want him to win. I don't want him to leave, so I don't know which one he's really going for. But I do appreciate him and my mom both being here. And then my wife at the back, she's wearing Republican red, but I think she's a little cold, so she's got her jacket on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the reason why I'm running, I promise that'll be the last uh you hear from me. The reason why I decided to run for County Commissioner in Precinct 2 wasn't just because I decided to throw my hat in the ring or because I wanted to try and do something differently because I didn't like what somebody else was doing. It was specifically because Ellis County needs to have better representation. We need to have a commissioner who's very accessible and who's going to give a lot of clarity to everything and who's going to be there for everyone across the county, but specifically in their precinct. One of the things that I've been really burdened with is the idea that, okay, commissioner's court is going to be on a Monday and there's not an evening court meeting anymore. We need to go back to having an evening meeting. We need to go back to, or change it to where we have our commissioner's court meetings on a Thursday. Because right now, as it stands, we'll post the agenda on a Friday, and guess what? Everyone's going home for the weekend. You're not going to get a hold of anyone. And then commissioner's court starts up 10 a.m. on Monday morning. Good luck getting any information on anything you want to talk about. They also need to provide a lot of clarity with the agenda, not just in saying what's coming out to it. But they need to change it from, instead of being able to say your piece at the beginning and then wait for that to come up and just let business as usual occur, they need to change it to where, instead of saying anything at the beginning, unless you're coming up to commissioner's court because, and you can't stay for the whole thing, but you want to say something, just say, hey, I have to leave. I can't stay till we get to this number on the agenda. Can I say something real quick? And then you have your piece. Other than that, we need to have open dialogue with the people in commissioner's court. Who cares if it takes all day? The very first political event I went to was to a Senate district meeting. We were there for thir almost 13 hours, and I had a blast the entire time. I didn't make a lot of friends, and I did make a lot of friends on other areas. But I had a fantastic time because we were doing what was necessary. We were trying to decide who was going to be delegates and such for the state convention. Then I went to the state convention and found out that, hey, there's a lot of people that want to leave early just because it's getting past their bedtime. Who cares? We're here discussing things that matter, things of freedom. Now here in the county, we're discussing things such as what is our tax rate? What roads and bridges are we going to take care of? But another thing past that is we need to try and cure the apathy that's going on in the high school kids. Right now, I'd say maybe 80% of the candidates running tonight could be my parents. They're old enough to be. Now I'm only 25, so that's not saying they're old. It's just saying I'm very young. I realize that. <laughs> But we need someone who's going to be willing to work all day long for the county. And then if someone says, hey, can we go grab a soda or something, whether if it's someone who's of a much senior age or someone who's a lot younger who's a 17 or 18-year-old says, I have no idea what goes on in politics, or hey, I have to write a paper, or hey, can we, can we go and chat about something? That's, the, that's something that drives me that I want to work for, is to cure that apathy in the young people across our county. Also, as I said, clarity. I would never, ever vote to increase the tax rate. There was a gentleman back there, and he did mention, he said, well, don't say never. Well, we need to just appropriate 10 cents on the dollar that we bring into the county and set that away so that whenever the county doesn't come on hard times, we don't have to raise your property taxes. That's unnecessary. I would like to work with our next state representative and Senator Birdwell to consider them trying to change legislation to where we pay 4% income tax to the county 3% to the state, you don't pay property tax after that, you don't pay sales tax. All you do is those two checks to the state and you're done and you're one check to the federal. I think theirs should be 3%, but that's nothing I have anything to do with, so they can decide that themselves. But that's something that we can work with together. On that note, before I step down, TJ Fabby's a good friend of mine. I want him to be our next representative. The other guys have got beautiful families. I support one of them who's a veteran. TJ had over a hundred degree temperature today. He was very ill. 
He's got. He's been endorsed by Jonathan Stickland, who is the most conservative elected official we have in the state of Texas. He's a phenomenal man. He's a great father. He's a great husband to his wife. And I think y'all should give him consideration. And I would appreciate y'all's consideration as well for County Commissioner Precinct 2. Thank y'all.